The project I have to share with you today is just really fun. I'm going to use our new crepe filter paper out of the spring catalog. There are eight circles like this. They're about six inches in diameter. And then there's four rectangular pieces and these are each about six by 12 inches. So just um, sturdier than tissue paper, but obviously more flexible than cardstock. So I am really excited about this. I'm quite a simple stamper, which if you've watched my videos, you know that, but I'm going to show you how to take some simple cray paper and make this really cool flower. And if I can do that, I am positive that all of you can too. So let's get started. I'm going to move some things out of the way and I will be using just one of these pieces of the um, rectangular, I want to make sure I just have one, the rectangular that's about 6 by 12 inches. And what I'm going to do is fold it in half and then one more time in half this way. I found that to use a punch with this paper, it's easier if it's multiple layers because it doesn't get stuck in the punch at all. This is the fancy flower punch. I'm going to open it up. And if I do this carefully, I should be able to punch this three times. So there's four layers here. So there's four and, oops, good, pull that out there. Didn't slide it the right way. If you slide it on the fold, it doesn't get stuck as much. So I'm gonna go over to this end and do four more. And I only need eight for this project, but if I wanted to do a second flower, I could stick that right up in here and get, I'll just punch them now because I'm, Sure, I'll use them later. So I can get 12 flowers out of that one piece. So like I said, for this project, I am going to use eight flowers. Okay, so I just wanna make sure they're all um, separated. And what I'm going to do is use a brayer and a raspberry ripple ink pad, and I'm going to apply ink to each of these. So I'm gonna scoot most of them out of the way. And I'm going to pull in some extra scrap paper and just set the flower on here. Again, this is Raspberry Ripple. And I just ink up the brayer by rolling it over the um, ink pad. And then you just go over the flower. And this one actually is sticking right to the brayer. You can go in different directions to get it inked up good and you'll just continue with that until you have as much ink on there as dark as you want it. So you can continue doing that back and forth. It does require just a little bit of drying time, not much at all. Um, that sort of just depends on how much ink you actually apply to it. So I'm just going to set this one aside and pull in for you. Pull this in half again. I'm going to pull in and I'm going to use my paper piercing mat, um, eight of these that I've already done and I've given them a little bit of time to dry. So I'm going to set them on here and just stagger them slightly as I go. And you can see the, the color and shading is just a little bit varying from uh, flower to flower, just depending on how much ink I applied to that particular one. So I'm just continuing to set them on here, stagger them slightly, and the last one here, the eighth one. And then I'm going to take my paper piercing tool and right in the center just poke a hole, lift them up off of here. So you can see there, it's just right through there. And while I have that on there, I'm going to grab one of my mini silver brads. These are just tiny little things. And that's all I'm going to need to hold all of these layers together. So I'm going to pull this out and place the little brad. You could use any brad if you wanted to use something um, more decorative. You certainly could. We're going to do something else in the very center. So just this simple brad is good for what I'm doing. I'm going to pry the ends apart here and then I like to just push it flat with my thumb and now this is the part that's just fun because all you're going to do is take this and I started with the top flower and just piled it up like that and then go with the next one 
And you can crumple it as much as you want to. You just bring it in and smash it down. So there's really, um, you know, not a wrong way to do this, just depending on how much depth and texture you want it to have. And there's a lot of different um, types of flowers that you can make with this cray paper. There's different ways you can fold it, stuff like that. I may do another video to show some different techniques, but this one just really struck me today because of how simple it is. Um, you know, like I said, I really stick to some pretty basic and simple stamping. And this is easy to do because it doesn't require a lot of gluing and layering. Um, you know, with other supplies, it's just sticking it on here and smashing it. So it's a really, really simple technique. And so that's what I like about it. So I have this literally balled up wad of the colored cray paper. And then I can just kind of separate it out and it maintains that texture. Now, depending on what you want the center to look like, you know, you can pull that out as much as you want it. The last thing I did to this before I um, added it to the card was I used some of our vanilla smooch spritz. Um, you can see that some of the, the paint part of this is settled. So every time you use it, you just want to shake it gently. And then you just give it some spritz and that's what's going to give it the glimmer. So you do this as much as you want to. It definitely requires some drying time, but it gives it the shimmer that just makes it beautiful. So I'm going to set this all aside and pull in the final card again and just show you that all together. Now I didn't go through step by step how to make this card just for the sake of time. I just wanted to focus on that flower element. I did use the chevron embossing folder, some glimmer paper, and right on the inside there is one of our new large rhinestones from the spring catalog. I hope this is capturing the glimmer and shimmer of that flower. It's just beautiful in person. And of course, by using different colors of ink with your brayer, you can make this unique to any situation. A beautiful birthday card, it would be a gorgeous uh, wedding card as well. Thanks so much for watching my video. Have fun giving it a try. For daily creative inspiration, visit my blog or find me on Facebook at Jody Reinert Stamps.